Hi there, Thin Man Sewing here with another vintage sewing machine. It is a Kenmore 116.531. There is some controversy over who manufactured this machine, uh, but it does have similarities to a white as it takes white style feet. It also has the bobbin winder over here on the side like one of my whites my white 611 and the wheel looks familiar so i i would say it's either made by white or a knockoff but i'm not i'm not no one seems to know and this one does have an interesting bobbin and as it looks like a class 15 yet the hole here is just a hair bigger where a class 15 won't slide on there and what an odd bobbin case it is magnetic there is no little clip arm like on uh, other ones it does thread the same way you just pull it up and around and but then it it sets in here like i said it just no uh no little clip or anything it just goes in and a magnet holds it on there and it does go towards me the pickup thread Okay, got her up here, and it's a straight stitch with reverse. So, there we go, and it does have a knee lever on it to operate it. So, that's a little unique in itself. And Kenmore touts it as being uh, ready for the desk or ready for the desktop. So... Uh, I do have the original manual on it, which is quite interesting. And what I think is interesting, too, is the light lights up the little Kenmore sign. I think that's really neat. Anyway, let's uh, give her a little, a little picture. Seems to go really nice. And, uh, oops, spin her around here. And of course the reverse. So interesting, like I said, a really nice little smooth machine. Has a really perfect straight stitch there. Front and back, probably hard to see. But yes, it is uh, a Kenmore. Maybe made by white. Who knows? From 1956. Thank you for uh, watching.